When you talk about Christmas, things like Santa Claus, gifts, and flying reindeer are normally the things people refer to. But what about being with the ones you love, creating memories and keeping and passing down your favorite traditions? Today, we follow the Stapley family as they share their traditions with you and I. It started when I was about uh, five years old and we did it with my grandmother and my aunts. Over the years, it has grown to mammoth proportions, and this is the first year we've cut back because it got so it got so huge. But it's something that we've you know become very uh, it's become very important to us. Jill Bearclough, who is the daughter of Vivian Stapley, who was one of the original sisters who started this tradition, tells us how it all began. My aunt Marion, she had a neighbor. Dick Wood was her neighbor, and he owns Fernwood's Chocolates and she got some rep recipes from Dick and we started out by making some of his chocolates and over the years my aunt who was a very 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 good cook um, started messing around with them and perfecting them over the years and then she and my mom started teaching classes on how to do it in Bountiful at a night school class and started working with other women and teaching them how to do it Jessica Stapley, one of Vivian's granddaughters, tells about the lengthy process of candy making. So you pick a day and you set up a bunch of marble slabs and you have to get all your ingredients together. You spend one day where you just cook the candy and beat it and that will take up a full day and then you have to refrigerate it and let it settle. And then it takes a second day, you have to roll out all the fondant and bottom it, dip it, package it. It's about a whole nother day's worth of work. It's about a whole nother day to get it all boxed up and packaged to go to friends and family. So. Though the process may sound like a little much, they say they look forward to it every year. And by they, I mean people of all ages. My, my favorite thing is that everybody's here and I love watching the kids get really into it. Um, and that, so it gets to the point where sometimes I don't even do anything except for watch the kids because they kind of take over on a, a lot of the chores and they love it. They literally, one of, our, one of my cousins the other day said this is the day he lives for his entire life. It tastes really good and it's really fun. The other day, his dad was trying to plead with him to come and go to basketball practice and he says, I don't want to go. He says, I want to stay here. When I think of Christmas, this is what I think of. This is what I want to do. This is, this is Christmas for me. Though the tradition is all about family, it was made very clear as to what their second favorite part is. Eating it as we go. Eating the candy, eating the chocolates. Chocolate M&M's. Um, selfishly, my favorite part, <laughs> the, the, the gluttony side, is once the chocolate's been dipped and there's like the little strings of chocolate that come off going around and peeling just those little pieces that's my gluttonous favorite part even though eating the chocolate is the coveted part of the process they aren't specifically made for the family themselves i have people in my neighborhood that this is what they look forward to a neighbor of mine is on a mission and she wrote me on her mission and said i wish i were there to get some of your chocolates. We have friends now who will wait for Christmas to get that little box that says homemade Stapley chocolates. Um, I have one coworker, his name is Clint, who will stop me all year round and tell me he is excited for when he gets the homemade Christmas candies. The Stapleys are proud of their 60 plus year tradition. They're also excited to see each other every year and start off the holiday season in the spirit of giving. It's an event that's very important to them and that they will likely pass on to the younger generations for years to come. But one thing's for sure, as long as they're making chocolates, the world will be a happier place.